For years, people have speculated that we are not alone in the universe, extraterrestrial life, and objects, not just a science fiction idea, but actually existing. Now, there's not a lot of proof available, but one scientist believes they are out there. Closer than we think. For more on this, I'd like to bring in Avi Loeb, professor of science at Harvard University, joining me from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Welcome, Avi. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. So tell me about this theory. Well, um, on uh, October 19th, 2017, uh, more than a year ago, we traced the very first uh, object uh, from outside the solar system that passed near the Earth. And uh, it looked nothing like uh, the asteroids or comets that we have seen before that were born in the solar system. Uh, its uh, shape uh, is much more extreme. Uh, it's at least 10 times longer than it is wide. Uh, it shows no cometary tail, no outgassing around it. And nevertheless, it deviated from an orbit that is shaped just by the sun's gravity. Mm -hmm. And so it looked so peculiar that uh, we wrote a paper, a scientific paper that was published, in which we suggested that perhaps it has an artificial origin. Perhaps it was manufactured by an alien civilization. Mm -hmm. And this is the Oumuamua you're talking about here as we're seeing right. on the screen there. So based on that then, what kind of proof are you looking at and what proof do you have to say we have to look at this much more in depth to say this is just much more beyond you know, an object in, in, in the universe? Right. So. Um this is uh, like having a guest for dinner that arrived from another country mm. uh, where you notice that the, the guest is very interesting because you can learn about the whereabouts in that country without going and visiting that country. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, by the time you realize that, the guest already left out the door into the dark street. And so uh, Oumuamua itself uh, is now too faint for us uh, to look at. And uh, it's difficult to chase it down the street because it's moving faster than our chemical rockets. Mm -hmm. But uh, hopefully it belongs to a class of objects and we will find more of them in the future. And in fact, within uh, three years, there would be a telescope that is much more sensitive mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. PANSTARS, the telescope that was used to discover Oumuamua in Hawaii. And by the way, the name means uh, scout in Hawaiian language. Mm. Uh, and so uh, we hope that we will find more of the same. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as we find another guest, we will examine that guest much more carefully and try to figure out whether it's a rock mm -hmm. or uh, an artificial object. Really quickly, Avi, I've got like 10 seconds less. What does your gut tell you? What do you think this is? Uh, gut feeling is not a good guide in science uh, mm, well. because it's based on the past. So I would say I'm open-minded and we should all be open-minded and yeah. it would be great if we find evidence for another civilization. It is pretty fascinating. Avi Loeb, professor of science at Harvard University, joining me from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Thank you so much for this and you have got many of our viewers thinking well beyond. Thank you. My pleasure.